What is going on guys, it's the Hooded Gamer here bringing you back a brand new video and on in this video we will be doing a Photoshop tutorial just because I wanted to do a different video on my channel see what you guys think of it and if you want me to do more please do make sure you let me know and if you like today's video please do drop a like on it and also if you're new to my channel please do hit that subscribe button as well but without further ado let's go on to it so in this video we are basically well I will be teaching you how to sort of trace a picture in Photoshop so if you're making your own logo you've done a sketch yourself and you want to make it into a logo you can do that simply by uploading it to your computer open it as a file and then you've got it here so I've done mine already which I did yesterday so what I've done is basically made a new page which is file new and then you'll get a new layer and then what you want to do is when you transfer the picture over, it'd be 100% opacity. So you want to change that down to, I do it around about 22% like that. Also have a background color because it helps you as well. So once you've done that now, I always make a new layer. So you've got, so you got three layers, you've got your background, you've got your logo, which you've already done. I'm using this for an example because it's, why not? It's easy to do. And then you've got your pitch, your, your layer, which you're going to do your tracing on. So firstly, what you want to do is move over to the left hand side where it says brush tool, which is B on your keypad. You want to right click and make sure it's pencil. So up here is the, it's the line thickness. So you want to change that and then the harshness. That's what mine is because that's what size I like my lines being. And then you want to click down here on the P for pen tool. Let's get rid of that quickly. If you do, if, uh, and then you want to click right down here, click pen tool, and then you have your pen tool ready to go. If you don't have paths over here, like I've got layers, channels, paths, you basically want to head up to window and then click on paths, and then it will be there, just like that. Simple. So what you want to do now is click Z on your keyboard or the down here at the bottom left to zoom in, which is what I normally do, just to so you know you can get an accurate thing. And then P on your, on your keyboard for P for pen shortcut. So you want to choose a point there and a point here. You want to use as mi a minimum points as you can. So as you can see there, it hasn't made a curve. So what you want to do now is go somewhere in the middle, click, right click, and then click add anchor point. And then what you want to do then is hold control and move it up to just like that. And then you can roughly, as you see, it's making the curve. And then you just carry on down here, right click, add anchor point. And it's pretty, pretty basic from there. I mean, there's not a lot to it. I mean, obviously, but you want to do make sure you use as minimum anchor points as you can just so you get in a nice tidy picture I mean it doesn't have to be exact like there's that curve I mean that one there could be a bit of adjusting I can move this down here if you do want to move these ones what you already put you can just like control and then click on your mouse and you can basically place it where you want to be so you click over here right click somewhere in the middle or near the right hand side just to get that real nice curve simple boom put that there right click again add anchor point click that make it look a little bit like it's actually supposed to be there make it look curved so i'm going to quickly just do the rest of it i won't be doing the facial features on the i'm just going to literally do the outline of it just so you guys get the idea and, and basically after that it's pretty much the same simple steps to do all the detail you want to do i mean i don't know about shadowing because i'm not the best um graphic designer so don't take me as a professional or anything like that i'm just i just do it as a hobby and i'll, I'll learn photoshop on my, on my way of doing thumbnails for my videos and it's just a simple way of trial and error you just basically do download photoshop if you want you can get the 14 day trial or you can basically pay for it if you want to pay for it or there is ways to get free get it free the full thing um i won't be doing that because obviously i don't want to get like told off of making licenses or anything like that so I want to keep be. I want to be a good boy. Be a good boy. Might as well. And you literally just click them up like that. Add anchor point. That's one. So you should have the simple outline and on a new layer. Remember to make sure you have it on a new layer, so you actually have it as a path. So what you want to do then? Make sure that is clip that is highlighted and the pen tool is highlighted. And then you want to simple right click, stroke path. Don't do that because that makes it look like someone's drawn it. So it's pretty crap. Make sure it's pencil. Click OK. I remember it's I've put it blue so you guys can actually see it. I mean from black so what you want to do then is go up to here change the opacity and then you'll see it click on here down here and then there you go you will have your outline so if I move that you can now see that I've got the outline of that which is pretty and then obviously you can move it around like that um that's pretty basic that's all, all you have to do and obviously to get all of the detail in the lines so you start there so I'll, I'll quickly do it now um, if I just drop this down to back down here so you guys can see so if you do pen tool you can literally just click here and then down here make sure it makes a nice joint so you add anchor point control make it a nice looking curve I mean I am I am literally just not going to do the best this one so you can add another one there if you wanted to and make it a little bit 
more curvy and obviously then you literally just do the same again right click strokes of path pencil and it would just do it like that so you can just get rid of that one oh hang on bear with me put that back up to there hide that why not kind of oh right, see that's what i've done that will show you what i've done so me doing it on that layer there it's on that layer so if i click on here it will go with that so you want to make sure you always have a new layer and and label them is really good so that is it for this tutorial guys if you do want more like this and i'm sorry it ain't the best it is my first one so i hopefully i will be able to prove in in the future please do drop a big fat like on this video and also if you're new to my channel please do hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video but until then Stay awesome!